hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion design sanitaries video we are going to create this looping loading animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started Here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920. Height I am going to choose 180. Frame rate is 30 and duration is 10 seconds. And background color is simply white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Selection. Now, first thing we need to do, we need to create one ellipse and I'm not going to choose any stroke. So let's delete the stroke and for the fill, I'm going to choose this black color and simply hit ok and by holding shift i am going to create one ellipse like this select this ellipse press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically then press p for position and press v to select the selection tool and by holding shift i will move this somewhere around over here as you can see the x value of this position is 408.9 so let's make this proper 400 only now select this hit ctrl d press p and now we will make it 600 so it's gonna come over here again select this hit ctrl d press p let's make this 800 so basically i am adding 200 value to each and every one of them so hit ctrl d again press p let's make this 1000 ctrl d press p let's make this 1200 select this hit ctrl d press p and let's make this 1400 Select this with Ctrl D, press P, and let's make this 1600. Okay, so all of them are properly in the space. Now, right click New and create one null object and press P, and let's make this 400 only. So now it's gonna come over here because if you see over here, which is our first circle, and press P, as you can see, this is 400 and the second uh, circle hit let's hit p it's 600 so now let's select this i'll move this somewhere around over here after this seven, second one now let's select this now as you can see this is 400 and this is 600 so let's make this 500 right now so now this null object is in the middle of this two now i'm gonna select this one and now i'm gonna make it apparent with this null one now select this null one press r for rotation let's create one keyframe go to around one second and now let's make it 180 so if you see we will get this kind of animation like it's coming over here now let's select those null object and hit f9 to ease in ease those keyframe okay so we'll get something like this now we will select this one and this null object and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as circle one and hit ok like this now we need to select all of these circles except for this one and this one and we will press ctrl shift c and let's call it as ref which is just short of reference because all of these are for our reference and press p i mean t for opacity and let's make this 40. let's select this circle press p hit ctrl d press p and now we need to move this over here it should be aligned with our reference layers now select these two hit ctrl d bring them at the top press p and let's move this over here make sure properly hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this over here press p for position and let's move this over here like this okay now we don't need that reference layer so i'll hide this and i'll lock this but if you see all of these animations are over here so now what we need to do because we have duplicated from our main animation comp we have to duplicate these circles from our project window also so i'll go to my project window i have this circle one over here i hit ctrl d uh, so it will duplicate as you can see the name itself is circle two so let's see how many circles we have over here one two three four five we need five more duplicates so i'll hit ctrl d five times like this now i'm going to select the sixth layer and i'm going to select this circle two by holding alt 
I'll simply bring this on the top of it so it's gonna replace it then I'll replace this circle 1 with circle 3 then this circle 4 then this circle 5 and then this circle 6 okay so now let's zoom in a little bit and I'll go to 10 frames and then I'll go inside this circle 2 I'll select this null object and I'll move this over here now let's go to the 20 frames go inside this circle 3 select this null object and move this over here with the help of open bracket then go to one second go inside this select this null object move this over here go to 1.10 frames move inside this move this over here go to 20 frames select this move this over here like this so if you see we will get something like this now i'm going to enable my reference layer again because i need that for this circle so now let's select the shape layer press p for position create one keyframe over here and as you guys can see my animation at this point should this circle should be over here so i move this over here and make sure that it's gonna be match with our reference layer let's make this full resolution like this and select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get something like this now let's select the shape layer press s let's create one keyframe over here go few frame forwards and let's make this rotate like this hit u let's again create one keyframe at the scale go to the last keyframe and let's make this one again also select those keyframe and hit f9 and at this point my animation should be end so i'll hit n over here and now i'm gonna lock this layer ref and now if you see we will get this continuous animation in the form of loop now we will select all of them and we'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as loop and hit ok press s and let's scale it down a little bit like this so if you see we will get this animation in the form of loop now let's go inside it we will select these circles and make sure to enable this motion blur let's go inside all of them and enable this motion blur and now we will select this loop we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for ramp effect choose gradient ramp let's move this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here we will choose random colors like this so we will get something like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of simple looping animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned